I've no idea what you're talking about. He told me it was you. <laughs> Kids, eh? What imaginations they have. You're not down the market now. I'm not some gullible pensioner who's blinded by your patter. All right, all right. I thought the little tyke deserved something for what he'd been through. Me getting that big reward and him having slept rough with nothing to show for it. Try again. Or do you want me to tell Chesney you've been slipping his kid bundles of cash? <sighs> he was on his way home when I spotted him. He was already on his way back. I gave him a few quid to keep that part quiet. I knew it. And there's you playing the hero while Chesney's being questioned by the plot like he's a suspect. I mean, I did find the little guy. On his way home? Well, for all we know, he could have changed his mind. Or something awful could have happened to him on his way back. Thank goodness I was there to get him home unarmed. And line your pockets in the process. There was a reward for his safe return, and I returned him safely. I don't see what I've done wrong. So why did you feel the need to bribe Joseph to keep Stum? It wasn't a bribe. It was a donation. My conscience is clear. Yeah? Well, I don't think the police will care about your conscience. Wait, what? I'm going to the cops. I'll give you half. <laughs>